So, Hironobu Sakaguchi is playing Final Fantasy XIV and documenting his journey across Eorzea on his Twitter account. He has recently posted pictures of the Crystal Tower, which means he finished the 2.0 story quest. This is so crazy to me. Sakaguchi is, well, he is a legend to me. I grew up playing Final Fantasy games, and they had a profound impact on my childhood. Final Fantasy 3 on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, now known as Final Fantasy 6, was one of the first video games I ever played. And because it was a JRPG, it meant you had to read a lot. This was a time before there was voice acting, so you read every bit of dialogue. And I was still very young. I was very weak at reading at that time, and playing Final Fantasy 3 actually made me one of the strongest readers in my class. This was actually a way I convinced my parents to buy me more JRPGs. I told them it helped me learn, it helped me get better grades in school, and it actually happened to be true. Anyways, so I beat Final Fantasy 3 several times. I was addicted to this game. The funny thing was, as a kid, I actually thought RPG meant really pretty game. Because, you know, the game was pretty, and I really liked it. Kids, we know nothing, right? I was smart enough to recognize Square as the developer that I really loved, and would beg my parents for every single game that they released. I was officially a Square fanboy. There were two names that always stuck out to me, Hironobu Sakaguchi and Nobu Uematsu. I know that a huge team is required to make amazing games, but those two names were the ones that I always thought about. Playing through Final Fantasy III and seeing producer Hironobu Sakaguchi, music Nobu Uematsu, well, that really left an impression on me. Uematsu was the reason I learned to play piano and clarinet. I wanted to be able to play those songs that I loved and couldn't get out of my head. He is really good at writing earworm songs. I would also record music from Final Fantasy off my TV with a microphone so that I could listen to the songs whenever I wanted. Like when taking the bus to school, or waiting in the schoolyard for school to start, or taking a trip with my parents. I was even able to meet Uematsu and get his signature on my Final Fantasy VI soundtrack. That was one of the greatest days of my life. And as for Sakaguchi, he is the creator of Final Fantasy. Without him, we wouldn't have Final Fantasy XIV today. In fact, it was Sakaguchi who handpicked Uematsu to write the soundtrack for the very first Final Fantasy game. When Sakaguchi and Uematsu left Square, I honestly felt that Final Fantasy games was lost, something that gave them that Final Fantasy feel. When you think of the Dragon Quest games, they all have a very Dragon Quest feel to them, and I think that's partly because the creator and composer have been the same throughout the series. I do realize that the Dragon Quest games also don't change up the themes, and they look all relatively the same, but I don't think that is all there is to it. Final Fantasy VI and Final Fantasy VII looked very different than the games that came before it, and yet they still had that distinct Final Fantasy feel. Final Fantasy games, without Sakaguchi's influence and Uematsu's music, well, they felt, I don't know, different. That was, at least until I got into Final Fantasy XIV. Somehow, the team behind Final Fantasy XIV have recaptured that magic I felt when I first started playing Final Fantasy games. Could it be that Yoshida and Soken are the spiritual successors to Sakaguchi and Uematsu? Final Fantasy XIV has captured that feel I've been missing with Final Fantasy games for some time now. This is one of the big reasons I am so excited for Final Fantasy XVI. Creative Business Unit 3 is the team behind Final Fantasy XIV, led by none other than Naoki Yoshida, and they were tasked with creating Final Fantasy XVI. With this team's track record, I have no doubt in my mind that Final Fantasy XVI is going to be one hell of a game. Anyone who finished 5.3 of Shadowbringers knows just how amazing this team is at storytelling, music, lore, as well as some awesome boss fights. Could this possibly be a Square Renaissance? Endwalker, 
Final Fantasy 16, Final Fantasy 7 Remake 2. Lots of awesome looking Final Fantasy titles to look forward to. It is certainly a good time to be a Square fan. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.